What's up guys, this is Dan with Next Level. We're talking about fogging goggles. You got a great pow day, but you can't enjoy it because you can't see, your foam is wet, your goggles are fogging, you don't have a spare set. Today we're talking about all things goggles. Let's get into it. All right guys, so one of the biggest mistakes I see people doing is how they breathe inside their helmet. Remember, I wanna tuck my lower lip under or inside of my upper lip and breathe down. You can tell with my goggles, you get in here close. If I breathe straight out, no breath box, but just breathe right into this, watch my goggles. I'm breathing out and look at this, already fogging up right there. I breathe down and I'm breathing away. I'm breathing down outside of this, not wearing a big balaclava. I'm just wearing a neck gaiter right now. I'm trying to run with as cool a head as I can. If I don't have uh, a warm head, I'm gonna resist moisture sweating in and around the foam because all it comes down to is the foam getting wet and it not, not having a chance to breathe and the goggles will fog. All right, so here's some common mistakes. We're breathing out, we're fogging up the goggles, then I see guys, they get their sled stuck, and instead of leaving their goggles on their face, they want to take them off, and this is what they do. So they'll take them off, and they'll put them here. Think about where my breath is going. So I'm fogging up the goggles right there. Or they'll take them off completely, and they'll set them upright. They'll set them out like this. The goggle foam is getting wet. Even if this, on my handlebars, it's snowing out right now, I have to take great care of how I set these down so that the lens is up, but the foam is also raised up off of anything wet because I'm still getting them wet if I'm laying down on something. So I'm gonna clear the snow away and I lay them right over the mountain bar, making sure and taking great care that that foam is gonna stay dry. When I go again, I wanna bring them up and I wanna make sure that as I put them on, I'm not rushing a bunch of snow inside the goggles, once again, getting the foam all wet and then I've got that wet head and I'm gonna to start to fog the goggles to make so that all day on an epic day like this, they're dealing with goggles that are fogged up. So you guys will notice I'm wearing the Climb F5 helmet. I've got the Climb Viper Pro goggle made by the same company. The seal in and around the helmet with the goggle foam is really important. I see a lot of guys running their goggle strap way too loose and not getting the proper seal once it's in there. Anytime I've got airflow flowing in between my face, the foam, and into the goggle lens, if I'm breathing out, especially if I'm working hard, all that air, warm air, rushing up in between the foam, and that's gonna cause fogging as well. So having that proper feel, or that, that having it seat down inside of my face, inside the helmet, is ultra important. Remember, wearing a balaclava and running with that really warm, but oftentimes moist, because I'm sweating, that head will lead to the foam once again, getting wet, and you'll have goggle problems. As a mountain rider, we wanna to try to take those breath boxes in our helmets completely out. I get it on the trail ride in, and some of those situations where, like today, where it's full-blown winter outside, you know, wearing a balaclava on the way in, I'm a big fan of it. But as soon as I get into where I'm riding, I'm gonna pull that big balaclava off. I'll go with some sort of a neck gaiter, something that can still go up and around my ears, but it allows me to have my mouth open to the inside of the jaw piece to where I can use that lower lip, upper lip technique and breathe straight down and I'll be fog free the rest of the day. And then the other takeaway is stuff happens. Even with us that we're trying to never take these off, you drop these into the snow or it's just a day like this where no matter what I do, I'm getting foam, I'm getting snow inside the goggle on the foam, having a spare set of goggles. And a lot of times guys, I'm keeping those someplace heated. So I've got the helium hood from Skins here. Inside the helium hood, inside a goggle bag, I've got my spare set of goggles ready to rock and roll if I need them. What's nice about keeping them someplace heated is check those bad boys out. We're just immediately, we got perfect lenses and I can take my other ones that are wet, put them back inside the goggle bag, inside the hood, and they're warming up so that I can make the swap. Another thing guys is when you've got heavy snow like this and even me just sitting here trying to protect my goggles, we're getting some blowing snow and some of this underneath into the foam and on the inside of the lens. 
it's cool to have a chamois. And Climb kind of does this for us, which is sweet. Having that chamois where I can get in there, clean out that moisture, and try my best to get all of that snow, all of that moisture out of there, and then quickly get my goggles back on. And remember, you practice working your goggles all the way in, in and around your face. Try to keep that head and try to keep those goggles free of fog for the rest of the day. So in closing guys, I think the number one thing for me to keep my goggles free of fog is I never take them off. If I've got to get rid of this, whether I'm having lunch or I'm helping somebody else get unstuck, I'll typically take my whole helmet off, leaving the goggles on and protected. Set the helmet down in a spot where you can't get snow and wind and moisture inside of it and just keep them on your face. Keep it locked in and you'll have a fog free day. You guys remember, thank you so much for your subscriptions. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave those questions and comments below, and we'll see you next time. Let's ride.